YouTube, what the crap's going on? Air of Carthage here, and I have a have a friend here with me to do some co-op. Hi guys, Lanhart here. What up? All right. So as many of you know, we had a co-op campaign going, but we've decided to make a little bit of a change. Uh, you want to kind of talk through that, Lionheart? Uh, yeah. So obviously, there's been um, a patch or two in between since we last did our uh, co-op as Athens and Macedon, and we decided to. As with most of the patches, the best way to get uh, the full out of the patch is to actually start a new campaign. While they are save game compatible, we were actually experiencing a few desyncs with the with the last co-op we were doing, so we're hoping that this patch will hopefully address some of those issues. Plus, there's a whole lot of rebalancing and performance um, improvements with patch nine. Um, obviously, this co-op, I'm sure some people are quite delighted to see it back because there was a huge amount of time between, well, the last co-op part. Uh, that's because we're both. Well, we're both uh, in different time zones. Air is a very busy chap, and he works full time during the week. He doesn't—he's not like me, who uh, just YouTube's all day long during the week. And obviously, with the time zone difference, it's quite difficult to get on. But at the moment, we've hopefully got um, a couple of days to record together, so we're going to try and record as much as possible. And then, however long the gap is in between the next lot of recording, the campaign—we're not—we're not, we're not cancelling it. If there are no parts for like a month or something like that, there, it will continue. We'll just have to find more time to. Uh, Get back in there and get going, and the host has left the game. <laughs> oh, does it say host left game? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to adjust the sound volume. I didn't know it kicked me out. All right, All right. Um, I'll rehost. Awesome. <laughs> I rage quit. Yeah. So, uh... um, oops. Uh, let me go back here. We're actually going to be playing uh, some different factions this time as well. We wanted to try something out a little bit different. Um, I know it may not be... Okay. Um... It's rehosted. I know the factions we may choose may not be the ones that people necessarily wanted to see, but um, they're hopefully some different factions that people haven't seen before, and it's impossible for us to, to find, unfortunately. Um, got to go online. It's impossible for us to choose the factions that absolutely that's going to please absolutely everyone. Um, so we're doing as best as we can here. Yes. And, uh, so that's uh, definitely a tough thing, and. Like, so for me, for instance, you know, I just announced some new campaigns, and part of the reason I do what I do is just trying to throw the variety in there. Some other YouTube may have done it, but, it, you know, if, if that's what we went on, as many people as record, you'd never be able to be the first one to get a campaign in or <laughs> do anything else. Yeah, so. it's, it's very difficult. Um, sorry to the person I just had to uh, completely de deny there by turning off my Steam again. But I will talk to you later, chap. <laughs> All right, so... Right, so, yeah, Pontus and Galatia. Yeah, so this ought to be interesting. I'm going to be using a, a Hellenic faction that's both got pikes and swords, um, some decent heavy cav and melee cav, so a nice unit variety, and then uh, yeah. combine that with Galatia. Yeah, the gallo uh, Greci uh, sort of faction there, so it's going to be interesting to see what units they get. Um, they were added into the main campaign with the Caesar in Gaul DLC, so if you own that, you have access to them as well. Uh, it's going to be interesting. We're going to be doing a, a co-op rather than a head-to-head -head because we want to work together and actually the position of our factions works great because Pontus starts off with a lot of the eastern factions hating them and I assume probably Galatia's not exactly going to be everybody's favorite faction in that area either because of their heritage. Yeah, probably not the most love. That'll be fun. I know that I have um, a major diplomatic penalty with all eastern factions so that's one of the things i got to watch out for. I've got a moderate diplomatic bonus with all Hellenic factions, apparently. Um, although I do have a an isolated plus 20% um, to my non-mercenary recruitment costs, so that's not going to be good. Yeah. Expensive to field some armies to start with until I can get my economy up and going. Sweet. All right, so we are on uh, hard, uh, hard difficulty, large unit settings. Should we up the difficulty or just go for it? Um... I haven't played much in the newest patch on the higher difficulties. I don't know what it's like. We we could try very hard. Yeah. Let's let's go for it. Very hard campaign away. Yeah, I'm interested. Uh, I, I decided to do a total war campaign, or uh, this is total war campaign. Like go for the achievement as the Iceni. Oh, yeah. So um, I, I'm not gonna run it on legendary because I think that would be insane. And I'm curious since you've played as the Iceni, like how you think that's gonna go down. Yeah, it's going to be, I haven't tried one of those, uh, this is Total War campaigns yet, I think that's what I might try and do if I start another one, once I finish some of my current Let's Plays, but um, it looks like an awesome achievement to get, but Legendary might be, <laughs> might be insane. 
Yeah, that's the fortunate thing, I think. If you want to get that achievement, they didn't put Legendary on as one of the requirements, because, I mean, that would that would be incredible. Yeah. <laughs> Especially in a game where your units, like, the number of armies you can have is extremely limited, actually. Yeah, that would be interesting. Sweet. Checking out the elation units that I can actually recruit while Air takes his turn. Patchy goes. Alright, so I get to start off with two settlements here, and um, it looks like Nika Media is control of Bithynia, or Bith Bithynia, however you say that. Um, I'd like to own that, but they're my defensive ally, so attacking them would be foolish. So, looks like I am at war with Cappadocia, and they're going to probably be friendly with Armenia, I would think. And since I have a diplomatic detriment versus eastern factions, it might be good for me to start off focusing on them. See, so I must say, uh, let's see what we can build here. Galatian Legion. Oh, I don't have that many skirmishes actually. Looks like I've got some Galatian uh, Raider cavalry. Uh, are, those, so are those the ones that have like uh, javelins but are decent in melee, or? Um, yeah, I think so. A lot of they've got javelins uh, as cavalry look like uh, some skirmisher cavalry basically, but it looks like I don't actually get that much uh, um, in terms of missile troops. I mean, I've got uh, Galatian legionaries, uh, noblemen, and Galatian spears and swords, and even naked swords, but there's not much in terms of cavalry actually there at all. I don't know if they're just maybe it's not all up in the. Um, Unit pool there. In fact, I can already see I can get light horse from this thing, so I assume it's probably mixed in with some of the Celtic, uh, Celtic forces. So I assume actually it's probably quite a rich pool. It just hasn't included some of the other Celtic units there. Yeah. All I can recruit right now is um, uh, Eastern infantry and slinger. So I'm gonna actually kind of take a couple of turns and I'll just do some spying on Cappadocia. They don't have anything substantial there. Alright, well, I think I'm good. Uh, unless I can get some trade agreements. We should probably have one between us. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, we're that. military allies starting up. I don't know if that's because we're in a co op or if that's actually in the game. Oh, brilliant. I assume that's probably actually in the game. A tongue that speaks without wisdom is not welcome. Be like a spear and have a point. <laughs> I will accept that offer, yeah. Your guy just told me to be like a spear and have a point. <laughs> wow. Um. There we go. Accept. You bless. Okay, let me see if there's anybody else that might be interested in trade. Trapezos actually kind of likes me. Let's see I if am we can... eager to hear your embassy. Inspired as it. Sweet, I got another trade agreement with you them. Speak with wisdom. Oh, awesome! And... Yeah, we got we got a lot of uh, area to spread out to. And it's gonna be cool because I mean you can both spread along our, our coast while I can a spread south a little bit. Um, yeah. We've got all that land to the, the north as well, and all the um, nomadic tribes, and we can go west and east. It's quite a nice location, actually. Start off as. I'm gonna just see how many trade Greetings. agreements I can get here. We are civilized folk. So Sardes is not interested. Athens might be though. I am here to listen if you speak honestly. Nope. Truth. Athens doesn't think my goods are of any value. Ah, oh, Athens. Enter, friend, and speak. <laughs> it must have been whenever I sent them that shipment of tainted beef. Um. <laughs> hey, that's cool. Like, I don't know if that's new or not, but that's kind of neat how it lists your name underneath the 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 symbol for the Galatian faction whenever it's turn ending. Yeah, I'm not sure if um, if that was there before or not, but um, I noticed that as well with the patchy uh, underneath it. That was pretty cool. So I'll start off with just the one settlement. I can go to my strategic map there. So we've got a lot of factions already encountered. Um, be interesting to see where we can both expand out to. Just gonna expand my city here and probably go for the artisans' lodging because then I can get my uh, Galatian swords there. And I can upgrade my barbarian city. That costs some food, which actually is not a good idea right now, seeing as I have no other food producing. Resource here. I've got horse pens instead to get some cavalry. So I assume we probably need to focus on building up some forces. And I should probably check who I'm at, if I'm at war with anyone. No, I'm just allied with Pontus. Um, 
Yeah, the Kappa, Cappadocia or Cappadocians. Yeah, if if you were to get prepared and hit him right there, I could hit him here and we could probably knock yeah. him out in one. Oh, apparently I've already got trade with them, but oh. I don't mind backstabbing well, them. Well, I'd hold on to it until we get ready to attack then, because yeah. I'm not going in. Uh, and I'm same blood with the uh, Tillis as well, over to the west, so... Um, I mean, I could go for Sards, but that's going to bring in the Wrath of the Seleucids. There's a satrapy of them there. Um, I guess um, Bithyania is probably the, the best target to go for. Um, not to annoy the Cappadocians just yet, although my army is poised on their border. <laughs> so, oh, that's it. I'm going to have to come through... Oh, yeah, there's a pass up there I can get through to um, Gomedia. Are you thinking through there? So, if I bring this army up here, and I'm going to transfer some troops over. Yeah, if you controlled that, that'd be good, because that means that we would control that entire province. Okay. Um, well, never mind. Trapezos has settlement. Oh, well, they oh. like us, though, so we're good. Oh, whoops. Wrong army transfer, but actually, that'll do fine. Um, I'm going to move over here that army and I'm gonna recruit a few extra guys in there. What about mercenaries? I can get some cool mercenaries actually. But I don't want to do that just yet because it's gonna really drain my economy. Might just do that just before we go into battle. So instead I am gonna to need to get some more skirmishers, some more slingers. Got enough cavalry there so it's gonna get some more levy freemen. Then I'll probably try and attack them next turn if I can really quickly. Um yeah, go before they get tough. Yeah, I'm gonna send my spy ahead of me to see if I can uh, weaken them by poisoning them and stuff. See how that goes, sabotage them, poison their wells. Okay, I think that's all I can do, although I'll just check my diplomacy and see if there's... Oh, I can get trade with the Yania, but I'm not going to offer that because I'm going to attack them straight away. Sards, I guess I won't be attacking them for a while because they're a uh, satrapy of the Seleucids. And we're not strong enough to take them on yet. <laughs> and that's all I can do, so make sure I'm researching something. Yep, and yeah, that's me done. Yeah, I'm thinking if we wait for the Seleucid sap trappies to revolt and then be a little more opportunistic when we go after them. Because typically they revolt from the Seleucids. Yeah, that should be hopefully not too long because normally they, they don't really hang around liking the Seleucids I for too long. They just sort of turn on them quite quickly. Consider a formal treaty. Strong I got a non-aggression pact with Trapezos. Trapezos, however you say it. And then Tillis wants one as well. Are you at war with Tillis? And only fools uh, no, I'm not at war with Tillis. Uh, with they you. don't really like me, but we're apparently same blood. Okay. So I could technically try and force them into a confederation. Although I've never been successful in getting one of them. If you put a sword to their throat before you ask him, it might help. That's true, yeah. It'd be right in their lands. <laughs> Leaging their only settlement. You're like, weren't you reconsidering that? Yeah, join me or die. <laughs> Couldn't you threaten people in some of the Total War games, like in the diplomacy? Yeah, in, um, I think it was, was it Empire and Napoleon? Um, I think you could, there was a, was it, was it I think, yeah, I think it was those two where you had a threaten button. Um, and, uh, yeah, that often worked quite well, because you sort of threaten them, not, if they didn't accept your agreement, then, uh, that would probably lead to you attacking them. It was quite nice seeing the AI threaten you back sometimes as well, sort of call their bluff. Just hired a couple of uh, hired a couple of mercenaries. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna lash out at uh, Samosata or whatever that is. Oh yeah. On the next turn though, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can sabotage anything. Try and level the spy up a little. Oh great, he got wounded. Um, what a loser. All right, I'm good because I need to wait for my my new military building to finish anyway, so I can start training pikemen. Okay. Did you notice that yeah. pikemen took a buff in the hot fix? Yeah, they did. Um, their formation's still a bit loose from what they were previously. I'm still using a uh, uh, kind of a closer pike mod actually in most of my let's plays, but um, yeah, I have noticed that they're a, they're more effective now, um, but they're not too OP. Yeah, so they're quite strong from the front, but there's situations in which you can make them weak, so it's kind of interesting. They're actually somewhat viable now, I think. 
yeah, I think I think Pike's still pretty pretty useful. Um, but perhaps maybe a, a little bit more of a formation tweak, and they'll be kind of because like, they don't need to. They can you know you can like uh, weaken them a little bit in their damage that they do, but as long as their formations made a little bit tighter, then they should still be reasonably effective. I can't reach the uh, Bithyania just yet, and my spy failed in his mission. Great spy. I need to start recruiting some more troops here so I can push in and take out uh, Mazaka if you're going for uh, Samoseta of the uh, Cappadocians. Uh, let's get out some Levy Freeman. And let's get um, two skirmishes and light horse. In two turns time I can go and attack them too. And my research is nearly done, so I'll end the turn there. Kind of sucks that Iconium is under control of Sardes because we need that to take the entire province. We yep. have war. <laughs> the board okay, is so ready. Okay, Camaria has declared there war on me. Else Samaria, however you say it. Well. The ones up in the oh, Bosphorus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, that, that at least gives you a... Oh, well, I'm going to enter on the side of my ally, of course. Um, oh, Bethania is my ally, but don't worry, I won't hold it against you. <laughs> oh, okay, really? Uh-oh. <laughs> nah, take it if you want it. I don't care. Thank you. <laughs> Most of the time, my allies of the AI end up being worthless anyway, so I... Yeah. Oh, I've got an option for a non-aggression pact with the Tillis. I have one as well. Um, I guess for now, I'll, I'll accept it, because then it means I don't have to worry about them coming across. Yeah. There, and then I can push north and help you with the Chimerians a bit. And Tillis usually keeps Macedon uh, in check, too. Yeah. Is... I've seen them actually take over Ma uh, Macedon before. They've done rather well at holding the back, and actually the Bithyania, they've uh, they've moved their army out of uh, Nicomedia, so that's going to make it easier for me to go in there and uh, claim it, hopefully. Uh, there's a Cappadocian army that fortified itself outside of uh, Amasia, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and run around them and go take their city while it's undefended, because it's easy picking. Should we, uh... yeah, that's an easy auto-resolve. Probably shouldn't waste people's time with me scythe charioting these poor hillmen. Oh, you got uh, scythe chariots already. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> I'll just auto resolve. I wonder if scythe chariots get screwed on the auto resolve like elephants do. Oh, yeah, and like cavalry. Yes, they, they do. Oh, dear. Yeah. <laughs> so that's really frustrating. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that. Oh, yeah, I can see the, yeah, the damage they've taken there. Unfortunately, they really need to work out a way to. Weak that in the in the order is but I think that's happened for total wars since like Empire. Cavalry generally don't fare too well in them. Yeah, it's probably the case. So Amasia is slightly open to attack now, but I can just I should be able to defend it with the size chariots and everything that I have there, so it shouldn't be an issue. And you'll you'll spawn uh, eight units in as well as the garrison. I'm gonna actually start recruiting Hopotes early on until I get access to better pikemen, thorax pikemen. Uh, or bronze shields would be quite good, I think. Oh yeah. So we'll just get some recruiting. Plus, you've already underway. got the the best units in the game anyway with your eastern spearmen. <laughs> yes, those guys are indomitable. Um, <laughs> they cannot be defeated. Well, I'm trying to. So Amasia is in your. I wonder if we get um, order penalties from each other's. Oh, um, um, I I con him has been taken by Cypress, away from Sards. Sure enough. So, oh, and so's... Yeah, so they must push up from side there. Yeah, we should um, take them out. Push down there quickly. I think, I'm not sure, they might be a client of... Yeah, Cypress, I think they're a client of Egypt to start with. Ooh. Yeah, that could be bad. Um, I'm going to just build a temple here to give me some public order. I don't think I'm going to spread my culture, though, because... I mean, you own the provincial capital, so I'll let you take care of that. Okay. I'll just use a temple that gives me some public order bonuses. That's all I need for now, anyway. Against nine, I might recruit some mercenaries when it's my turn. Okay. Take uh, Nicomedia. Um, my spy hasn't recovered yet, so I'm good. Oop, Mithridates has a unassigned skill. Okay, now I'm done. 
Oh, there we go, research complete, supply foraging done. Um, what am I going to go for? Advanced saddle. Yeah, I should probably go for my stables pretty early on. That seems to be the focus of these guys. Faction encountered Cypress. Will declared between the Marians and the Old Chais. And. Oh, Bithyania and Sards are now at war. So they're going to get taken out pretty darn quickly. Mercenaries, can I get. Oh, I can't afford any. No, I can't recruit any. There's none available. That's great. Move in here. I'm just going to poison Nicomedia before I go for the attack. And nope, that's failed. My spy's been wounded. He's doing great. Okay, well, I'm going to attack, declare war. Um, I'm calling you to help me, apparently, <laughs> and you're, you're allied to both of us. <laughs> Enter war on side of Galatia. Alright. Okay. Oh, they're gonna... Oh, they do have an army somewhere. Oh, no, it's the garrison fleet. Yeah, order resolves not in my favor, so I'm gonna have to fight this one. Got some ladders, though. Um, go. Alright, so you want me to just uh, spectate there? Alright, got it. Okay. See how my uh, Levy Freeman match up against the mighty Eastern Spearmen. I would think they do just fine, actually. I don't think so. Either. Thankfully, I've got three units of just mobs, so my cavalry should be able to go in against them and take them out if I can flank around quickly enough. Just got to be able to scale the walls. Yeah, your noble cav would lay waste to all of it, probably, if you could just get through the walls. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's nice to see uh, cities like really small again. <laughs> well, they've been. Uh, yeah, that's quite a wall Bandit. for such a little city. Okay, gonna go around here. Guys, two on the wall over there, and two around the other side as well, probably. Hey, uh, I see a new house inside the city. It's this big tall building that's got the picture of all the little people on the front of it. A lion oh, yeah. attacking a gazelle or something there. Well, that's awesome. That, that'll be your new palace there if you want it. That looks very nice. Just need to put a swimming pool out the back and I'm sorted. <laughs> yeah, this, these fancy buildings kind of crack me up and then you got like the other parts of town that aren't as nice. It reminds me of where I live because like it's the, the world headquarters for Walmart and oh, yeah. <laughs> there's the, basically the whole town is nice because everybody's working. Like there's very little unemployment here and uh, there's like almost probably there's probably close to 20,000 jobs at Walmart locally. Um, oh, wow. So it's it's interesting because, like, the neighborhoods here, and you may find this funny because you're from the UK, all of the fancy neighborhoods around here have some type of, like, name uh, that, you know, makes makes people think of England or, you know, like, because a lot of people here have this whole idea that everything, everything UK or British is high class, you know, with, like, you know, the <laughs> accent and everything. So it's like yeah. Kensington Oaks and, like, all these other names. Oh, right, <laughs> Definitely. So yeah, there's definitely there's definitely parts of the UK that are not are not Kensington level at all. <laughs> so yeah, they, yeah. they they like to use those names here, I think, to convince people to move into the fancy neighborhoods. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, place like that when it's called like a we have like signs up saying it's like a private um, a private road or something like that or a private estate makes it sound a lot more. Um, Sort of upper class than it actually is. <laughs> the levees are getting destroyed over there a little bit by the tower, which is not good. I'm trying to capture the walls and swing on over to the gate so that I can uh, take that down. Although, I mean, I could risk trying to burn down the gate, but I think I'd probably lose a whole unit or two. Yeah, it usually doesn't go well. Ladders. And then you get the burning oil issue. Yeah, I don't think this one's got oil just yet, but yeah, burning oil on the gates. I hate that. <laughs> it is quite strong. Though, oh, man, I, I was wondering if there was a, something you could research, um, like maybe a, an item called the Colonel's Secret Recipe, and it can fill your boiling oil with, you know, the 11 secret herbs and spices of Kentucky Fried Chicken, so that whenever the, <laughs> whenever the people come through, at least your men will have something good to eat later. Yeah. <laughs> Or if it dropped a load of flour on them right before the boiling oil. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, and the javelin men going through that gate. I didn't manage to catch them. I should have tried to go down and take out their reinforcements coming through their southern gate. But I wasn't. I wasn't quick enough there with my men up the wall. Now with these guys, we can swing them all over around here. 
and we can start capturing the main gateway and then I can go in with my cavalry and my slingers start uh, trying to fend off those super elite eastern spearmen yeah so now they're marching over to the uh, to the eastern wall yeah they're wow, trying to take that tower good. back from you yeah they've really taken down uh, if I can get back to that tower and fight for it a little bit just yeah, if you leave one unit there to keep their attention, they may let you capture the gatehouse. <laughs> yeah, they've killed a lot of my my levy freemen, actually. Yeah, those they've arrow towers well. are brutal. They're rather effective, but we've mainly got the main gatehouse now. And I'm going to get these guys to get down on the square. And once I can get in with my cav and my skirmishers, I'm pretty confident we should be able to, be able to take this one. Yeah, you're going to get a gate open, which I think is going to definitely hand you a victory. Yeah, they're they're heading. Some of their troops are heading back for the the capture point. Yeah, they're all bunching up in the square, which thankfully looks like there's not any spear troops in there at the moment. The rest of them are all coming round, taking that other gateway. So I'm going to move my cavalry in there. Not getting close. I've captured the tower now. With oh, really took a bit of a bit of a beating there. We have captured the and 40 odd. Yeah, I take three. down these javelin men. Okay, got the gates. Let's get my general in there quickly. Take down the javelin men. Those eastern oh, javelins yeah. are brutal. Our general is yeah, under javelins are just so powerful. Drawing my guys on top of that wall, but then yeah. they are very squishy towards Cam. And now they're oh, they're forming up in the square with all their their spearmen. I think I'm gonna have a few spearmen left that I can actually hit them back with. But at least I have my slingers. <laughs> Noble Cam just wrecked those guys. Quite nice. Gotta love it. <laughs> Go for it, cab. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I can now bring my cab through the uh, uh, sort of northeastern gate now. And I can bring my uh, Levy Freeman off the wall there, although there's only 47 of them left. The guys that captured the wall really have taken a bit of a beating there. Oh, they're sending mobs against me. That's fine. I'll, uh, my horses will quite happily eat them. Yeah, I mean, they're pretty much screwed. If You've got enough slinger rounds to take care of all of them. At least I think you do. Three units yeah, of slingers. So. Yeah, yeah, Celtic slingers just... aren't the best, but they'll get the job done against these lightly, lightly armored units. Oh, facing off against the uh, Eastern Spears now. A general already doing alright against the uh, mobs there. Just gotta get my horsemen out of the range. Spears there. Can you see when I draw on the screen? Yeah, I can. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, never mind. You should take this place. That's that's definitely the governor's mansion right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Try and slam into the back of these guys with my cab now. And, yep, they've opened that side up so I can charge in there. Nope, they've turned their spears around. Don't charge in their cab. Run away. Yeah, if those eastern spearmen aren't braced, I'm guessing that your noble cab would beat them even in prolonged melee. Yeah, I could be wrong though. Light cab, Hoping. probably not. Blank them. Uh, my slingers are actually yeah, they're doing a good job. I'm gonna whack them on quick reload now. Oh, cavalry, watch out for the spears. Not gonna end well. Although we have just gone through all of those uh, eastern spearmen and not really taking much damage. Good. Yeah. Charge out and uh, recharge my general against these spears. Our men flee the field of battle. Ooh, that's not this good to hear. So many spears. I'm trying to balance yeah. my charges between my cavalry, trying to distract them from both sides. Although I do throw a little volley before they charge in. Yeah, if you hit those guys right here in the back. You got them. Tower. Going with my other cab there as well. My Levy Freeman's still holding in the middle, which is good. They're, they're wavering. Got my cab going in there. Eastern Spearman, come on, die. There we go, they're dead. Sent all my cavalry now into the general. Now hopefully that'll break the rest of the Eastern Spearman. Yeah, and that's not the waver. Those um, noble horses have nice mass. Like they get a, a real, real good push when they charge into folks. Like yeah. those lighter infantry. 
going to try and push the Eastern Spearmen here while they're quickly reforming so they won't be facing the right way for my cavalry charge. There we go. Flank, flank round with the rest of my cab. General. Well, one of them's wavered after all that, that charge there. Good. Flank down here. And I've just got my slingers now moving in. It, just in case. Don't finish them all off. I've got some hillmen over there I can have a go at. Gonna let my slingers shoot them down for a little bit. And flank around and take out the mob. Get my frenzy charge. And that's those guys down. Let's get my slingers to stop. Too much friendly fire. And send my general in. Getting some pretty nice shots here while you're fighting this. <laughs> Looks pretty oh, sweet. Vision. That's going to be brilliant. Oh yeah, the spearmen wavering now. In come the cavalry again. Let's see if they were up against spears. We've got them. Uh, that should be a victory, I think. Although there's that mob unit somewhere. I my general after them to just finish off the mob. Come here, peasants. Oh no, costly victory, but I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. Wow, 351 lost, kills yeah. on the Noble Cav. Yeah, they really did. Really did a number on the enemy there. That's great. Pretty even numbers there, actually. That's, we are prevail. out of time for this episode, too. Oh, uh, yep. That's a very quick victory to wrap up the, the episode, the first part. So we'll try and upload these as often as we can. We're going to try and record as many as we can uh, over the next uh, day or two. So hopefully you guys will have plenty of parts to keep you guys occupied until we next get a chance to both record together. But just if there are a couple of weeks in between parts, don't worry. They'll, they will be uh, more. They just might be a little while. But uh, we'll try and update you guys as often as we can. Sounds like fun. Thanks for watching, folks. See ya.